In the first church, they never went about announcing themselves to be Christians. They saw them, they saw Christ in them, and they called them Christians. It's not what you claim, it's what you exhibit. They called them, they said, these ones are different. And it was Jesus who made the difference in them. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, I think 27 and 28. They saw them and they called them Christians in Antioch. And in chapter 4 of verse 13, 11, 28. Acts chapter 4, verse 13. They saw Peter and other apostles. And they perceived they have been with Christ. And one of the ways they partook of the spirit and the grace in Christ was through feet washing mystery. And I'd like you to get ready tonight. Every blessing in redemption shall be communicated to you through this mystery. I remember several years ago, God's servant gave me a call. I was privileged to be serving in Meduguri then. And he said, my son, this is what the Lord just revealed to me. And instructed me to do the same. And from that moment, things began to happen in a new order. Get ready. The virtues at work in Christ combined with the virtues at work in this commission shall be fully delivered to you. John chapter 13, verse 3. Jesus knowing that the Father had given him all things, had given him all things, into his hands and that he was come from God and went to God he stood up and removed his cloth and took towel and began to pour water in the bowl and wash their feet for what purpose in verse 8 Peter reacted thou shalt never wash my feet and Jesus answered him if I wash thee not thou hast no Part with me. So, feet washing mystery is a covenant platform for us to assess our part in Christ. If I wash thee not, then you have lost your part. It is not what to query, it is what you believe. Peter said, If that's the so, I mean, if that's so, I don't want to miss any of my part. Don't only wash my feet, wash my head. You know, Peter is a greedy revelation man. Once he gets a revelation of a thing, he goes headlong for it. I want you to go all headlong for what belongs to you. As packaged in Revelation chapter 5 verse 12, the blessings of redemption, which includes power, riches, wisdom, strength, sound health, honor and glory and blessing. Do you know that from tonight, you will no longer be described as a weakling? Beginning from tonight, you will no longer be regarded as a poor man. <laughs> Beginning from down this morning, your honor shall be restored back to you. <laughs> your dignity shall be restored back to you. Watch it. This Saturday morning, there are individuals here, they will call you to walk on red carpet. <laughs> you will find yourself in a dream world altogether. By this mystery, divine health, you will no longer be behaving as a jalopy. You will be strong in your look, strong in your work, strong in your language. Your eyes will become strong. Your heart will become strong. Every cold, dead organ is coming back to life now. You will go back for your medical checkup and they will apologize to you that they are sorry. 
We've had several testimonies taking place through this mystery. Incurable diseases cured. Long time pregnancy delivered. A woman conceived for three years. No hope for her. And somebody, one of us precious people, invited her to come to service, feet washing service. What will happen? They wash my feet and it will affect my tummy. They said, just come. Just come. As soon as her feet was being washed, the process for delivery commenced. The baby said, I'm ready to come out. All the forces holding her down, drop off her. Every chain holding you down, by this feet washing, you are coming out of it. I say, you are coming out of it. Look at that. Jesus said, once your feet is being washed, you are cleansed thoroughly. You know, when you are bathing, the last place you wash is your feet. So washing of feet is the finality of cleansing. Is the finality of cleansing. Don't ask questions. Just start believing. Unfortunately, many people in church, they ask God questions they will never ask their doctors. The doctor tells you, take this three pill. You don't know where they manufactured it for. You don't know whether it's a charm is given to you. You don't know it's poison. Like many people have become victim of the poisons of medication. And with your wife seated, you tell her, remind me, oh, remind me. You know, you said I should take one before I eat, another one after I've eaten. Remind me, oh, you know, you have the gift of memory. <laughs> but when God speaks, we ask how. How? You don't ask your doctor how. You ask God how. We are to believe. That's why we are called believers. Shout, I am a believer. The one who instituted it said, once your feet is washed, it affects every part of your body. There are individuals here, you have mental affliction. As your feet is being washed, it will be cured right now. Once your feet is being washed, the Holy Ghost takes hold of it and transmits it to any part of your body. Arthritis is giving way right now. Misfortune is giving way right now. Even favor is assessed right now. You know the mystery? When Jesus was here, he never begged for anything. I even noticed from scriptures, he never bought anything. He got everything. And so when the apostles came on scene, who are once his disciples, everything they needed was supplied. To the extent that they were bringing things to their feet. I know for people to be dropping things at your feet, that means your hands are full. They were receiving in their hands until they started telling the people, drop it here, drop it here, drop it here, because my hands are full. They enjoyed everything that Jesus enjoyed. Say with me, I must enjoy everything Jesus enjoyed. Say also, I must enjoy everything this commission enjoyed. Don't you see the way God is opening doors to the commission? Doors to nations, doors to cities, doors everywhere open. There is nowhere God sent this commission to that stopped or that failed to open. Please stretch your hands here. From today, no door shall be shut against you. <laughs> By the mystery of this faith washing, everything you require for life and godliness is here by release upon you. Remember, God told the servant that the essence of this destiny encounter night is for us to be able to receive the order of strength and ability that is at work in him, including riches, favor, blessing, power. See his energy at this moment. Energy to reach out to souls. Sometimes preaching in two, three locations per day. That energy is not common. You are going to receive that uncommon energy. <laughs> if you are ready to partake of yours tonight, rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Everybody, rise as a strong man. There is no weakness here tonight. There is no tired person here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Now, you are going to pray like Peter prayed to Jesus. Ah, I want this thing whole. 
be very specific. Any area of your life where you have discovered that Jesus enjoys something you are not enjoying it. He sent him, you, like God sent him. And look at this commission. Uh -uh. Why should I be begging when this commission does not beg? Why should I be suffering hunger? Why should I be living as a tenant all my life with all the buildings going on here without borrowing? I'd like you to take hope practically in the area that you desire that you will enjoy all the redemption blessings. Somebody raise your voice and cry out right now. I must partake of my portion in redemption, the redemption provision, the inheritance that Jesus made available to me. I must partake of it. I have seen it at work in this commission. I must get my own portion. Somebody pray. I must get my own portion. Raise your voice and pray. I must get my own portion. I must get my own portion. Somebody pray with all of your heart. I must get it. 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 I'm ready for mine right now. And I'm getting it fully. I'm getting it wholly. I'm getting it completely. I'm not leaving anything out. Be determined. I am dropping every trace of sickness and sin. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Consider this water as River Jordan. When Naaman entered River Jordan, leprosy dropped off his body. Everything of shame and reproach will drop off you tonight. When the blind man was told by Jesus, go to the pool of Siloam and wash, he returned saying, whatever is blinding your eyes from seeing what you should see to make life more comfortable for you, the veil shall be removed. A man stood by the pool of Bethesda for 37 years because an angel comes to steer the pool and anyone that drops into it receives his healing. This bowl should be considered at the pool of Bethesda, the pool of mercy. As your feet is being dropped, Lord, I receive mercy. Lord, I receive healing. Lord, I receive my miracle. From these three illustrations, raise your voice and begin to pray right now again. Lord, I consider this as Jordan. As I dip my feet into it, my leprosy is cleansed. My leprosy is cleansed. My blindness is taken away. My blindness is taken away. My 37 years, my years of stagnation is terminated. My years of stagnation is terminated. My years of termination. I am dipping my feet in this water. In the name of Jesus. As an encounter with power. My feet is becoming like iron. And I'm dipping my feet in oil. Larry Katondala, Mandek, Igla, Tose, Ekle, Mumbrendeka. My feet be as iron. Treading upon serpents and scorpions over all the works of the devil. Nothing shall by any means be able to hurt me. Everywhere I go, I go with authority of Jesus. I go with the authority of Jesus. I go with the authority of Jesus. Somebody pray, begin to prophesy that this water, this feet washing mystery will treat your feet for authority, for dominion, for power. I assess new order of power as my feet is being washed. I assess new order of prosperity, of riches as I dip my feet. Deriaka, mangala toshe, eklen dekla. Dip my feet in oil. Dip my feet in oil. Neki Mondo Marana. Walking in abundance. Walking in prosperity. Walking in everything that is required for life, for godliness. It's a new day for me. Loro Laganadi. Every shame and reproach. Every form of leprosy. Taken away from me. Every physical illness. Every disease. Every incapacitation. Taken away every barrenness, no more impotency, no more. Raise your voice, declare the things that must happen. Nekan, 
yambro brandi ketoto sikte narada kototo dositia mandalos ebrolosi mimbrolosi mimbrolosi somebody raise your voice and pray some more and now lift up your hands and be giving quality thanks to god be giving quality thanks to god this is my hour this mystery of feet washing is engendering all my redemptive benefit raise your voice and give god thanks and give him the glory and give him the praise and give him the thanks and give him the glory and give him the thanks Jesus, precious name, we are prayed. Amen. Announce to your neighbors you will hear my testimony this morning. Amen. It's already done. 